Hello and welcome to Capacity Middle East Extra powered by JSA. I'm Dean Perrine at JSA and we are coming to you live. That's right. We are live on location at the Grand Hyatt Dubai in Dubai, as you might imagine, as the name would suggest. And I am here with Mr. Michael Rabinowitz. And Michael is the Managing Director of Israel at Digital Realty. We've all heard of Digital Realty, right? But Michael, for our viewers who maybe have not heard about Digital Realty, why don't you tell them a little bit about it? So, Dean, thank you. Of course. Uh, Digital Realty, the world's largest data center provider. We operate in over 300 data centers in 25 countries around the world, in over 50 metros around the world. And uh, I think in this context of capacity Middle East, I think we're here in terms of many of our customers are built around connected communities and be able to connect our customers together. And many of the communities, many of the customers who operate and are attending here are looking to locate themselves in facilities such as ours. So it's a very good event for us to work with. Outstanding, but we are here to talk specifically about a, uh, a region of the, of the region, specifically Israel. Uh, and you are here to tell us a little bit about uh, maybe some of the, uh, um, some of the, the, the latest uh, uh, goings on with digital realty in Israel, is that correct? That's right, so uh, yeah. Digital Realty, we've taken a view that we see Israel emerging uh, as a very interesting hub into the Middle East. I think there's three primary drivers. The first one is that actually the global telecoms industry mm -hmm. is looking for additional route diversity in the global uh, subsea cable systems and the ability to find new locations and new routes to reduce um, points of, of potential exposure, but to actually improve resilience and redundancy in those fiber routes. And that's probably the biggest reason. I think the second reason we're seeing a lot of the hyperscalers coming into Israel. So they've all chosen to deploy uh -huh. and they're actually continuing to expand their commitments in those in the country. And finally, Israel is, is, is known as a, an innovation hub, a center of technology. So I think for all those reasons, we see there is an opportunity for us to be able to serve and take our proposition that we have in other markets and expand that into the Israeli market. Excellent, excellent. And we're, we're, we're staying right on time too. But so I'm going to diverge just a little bit okay. um, because we're here to talk about connectivity, sure. you know, um, and, and connectivity in, in the region is obviously booming, but connectivity generally um, is, is booming. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, kind of your view as to why things have accelerated the way they have both in the region and really around the world. So I think, you know, we're seeing continued growth and demand growing and continues to grow with almost without, without almost a, any sign of, of reduction. So that, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, yeah. That, that just keeps on going. But I think um, from a geopolitical perspective, I think we're seeing some of the traditional barriers in the region beginning to lower. Uh -huh. And I think that's allowing people to think about putting connectivity in routes that may not have been feasibly geopolitically before. And I think that's one of the things that's driving the change that we're seeing. No, very, very interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I I'm glad I, I took that 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 side that side path there. But um so you what an, an ideal world you're gonna come to Capacity Middle East and you're gonna take home one piece of information. What would that piece of information be? What do you what do you hear? What are you really here for? I mean, everybody is here to make a little bit of money. Apparently so. <laughs> but what, what is it you're going to take home with you? But I think what I think, you know, we can all do our homework. We can all do our analysis that says, for example, for me, why do I want to invest in Israel? Why do I think it's good for the company? But I think what you can do here is sit down with your customers and look them either in the eye and understand. Yes, as I've come from meetings today. Yeah. Yeah. We really th we think that's a really good thing to do. Let's talk a little bit more. So I think the opportunity to interact in person and actually understand people's intentions and plans is what I think is going to be most valuable to me. I love it. Michael, thank you very much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Dean. Bye-bye. You bet. bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching Capacity Middle East Extra powered by JSA. We'll see you soon.